Singapore has a wide range of freshwater ecosystems. These include natural forest streams, as well as reservoirs and concretized canals in urban areas. Of course, these are not the only types of freshwater ecosystems in Singapore. Today, come along with us as we bring you on a tour of the freshwater swamp forest, one of the rarest ecosystems that you can find in our city in nature. You might have heard of mangrove swamps along the coast of Singapore that are typically filled more with salt or brackish water. Further inland, these become freshwater swamps. Freshwater swamp forests are habitats that can be found in low-lying areas where streams flow into the shallow valleys and the soil is flooded or at least moist for most of the time. When wading through freshwater swamp forests, you can sink up to your waist depending on whether it had just rained and also the softness of the soil. The freshwater swamp forest habitat used to be more common in Singapore. A recent estimate suggests that it covers up to 16% of the island before the founding of modern-day Singapore in the 19th century. As Singapore developed through the years, most freshwater swamps were cleared to make way for plantations, canals, industrial and residential areas. Some were even flooded underwater with the creation of reservoirs. Today, only a few areas of freshwater swamps remain in Singapore. Of these, the Nisun Swamp Forest is the largest, and yet still only half a square kilometre in area. Located in the Central Catchment Nature Reserve, access is highly restricted in order to protect this precious ecosystem from excessive disturbance. More than 700 species of vascular plants have been recorded in the Nisun Swamp Forest. This makes up 31% of all the vascular plant species in Singapore. Additionally, the Swamp Forest is also home to 48% of Singapore's native freshwater fish species. 71% of its amphibians, 28% of its reptiles, and 34% of its birds. The Nisun Swamp Forest also supports the highest diversity of native freshwater organisms in the country, including the swamp forest crab, Paratelfusa reticulata, one of three freshwater crab species found only in Singapore and nowhere else in the world. In fact, Several animal and plant species can be found mainly in Nisun Swamp Forest. These include Haniella mulleri, a large stick insect, Brachophorus cyanopunctatus, a tree frog, Copsia singaporensis, the Singapore Copsia, and Bulbophyllum pretavism, an orchid species. This makes Nisun Swamp Forest a vital refuge for many forest and swamp adapted species in Singapore and a site of high conservation value. Freshwater swamp forests are often overlooked, but they play an important ecological role in carbon sequestration and local water balance. Freshwater swamp forests are carbon sinks. In other words, they absorb more carbon than they release. The low oxygen in the waterlogged conditions slows the rate of decomposition and contributes to the buildup of organic matter. Swamp forest ecosystems are also important to the surrounding landscape because they function as giant sponges absorbing and storing water during wet periods and releasing it slowly during periods of low rainfall. Today, one of the best places to view this unique ecosystem is right here in the Singapore Botanic Gardens Learning Forest. This freshwater swamp has a remarkable combat story. By the 1920s, much of it has been cleared, but in 2016, MPARTS undertook a restoration exercise to recreate this habitat. The installation of weirs or low dams like these to impede drainage and accumulate water helped to restore the natural wetlands habitat. Freshwater swan species were introduced around the site, which included native species propagated from the individuals in Nisum Swan Forest. Some of them have already started to produce the next generation of seedlings. Here, visitors appreciate the unique flora and fauna from the elevated boardwalk that we are on right now without disturbing the plants and wildlife underneath. You can find more than 200 species of plants here in the Capo Discovery Wetlands. 
Besides conserving native species, the learning forest also showcases and highlights the distinctive characteristics of plants living in the freshwater swamp habitats of this region. One example is the Elstonia spatulata, also known as the marsh pulai. Because the soil in freshwater swamp is permanently flooded, the marsh pulai grows buttress roots and a fluted trunk. The buttresses can grow to more than one metre tall, which stabilises the tree and prevents it from toppling in the saturated water. Another tree with buttress roots is Alstonia pneumatophora, or Pulai Basong. It has additional unique features that help it to thrive in this oxygen-poor environment. These are looping pneumatophores, or breathing roots, that project above the waterlogged forest floor to enhance the tree's oxygen uptake. This is possible because of small openings called lenticels, through which air can enter. This Delania reticulata has a different way of holding itself upright in these swampy conditions. It's aptly named the stilted simple because it has these arched prop roots that grow out from the base of its trunk, helping to prop up the tree, providing support in these flooded swampy grounds. Insects visit the flowers of the stilted simple while its fleshy fruits are eaten by animals. In the process, the flowers get pollinated and the seeds get dispersed which grow into new plants. Together, they help to form a healthy, thriving forest. The Pandanus atrocarpus, or giant pandan, also has similar prop roots. The largest pandan species in the region, it can reach heights of 35 meters and is commonly found growing in thickets. Clumps of giant pandan in the forest seen from far away, therefore usually indicate the presence of a swampy habitat. So here we have the critically endangered Radomachera quadripinata. This individual here was salvaged from Nisum Swamp Forest in recent years. And since planting it here in the learning forest, it has produced hundreds of seedlings to be reintroduced to other parts of the botanic gardens. And here we have the final flora species today, the Kenley's Mammoth Island. This rare species is named after Scotsman Nathaniel Kenley, who was the superintendent of the Singapore Botanic Gardens from 1880 to 1888. This individual is grown from seeds of the existing mother plant in the garden's rainforest, an original inhabitant of the gardens. To humans, swamps may seem inhospitable and may be hard to picture as hotspots for biodiversity. Nevertheless, this unique habitat is home to myriad of species that are well adapted to the flooded conditions here. The complex buttress and prop root systems of the trees mentioned earlier provide sheltered nooks and crannies for nesting birds, fish, amphibians and reptiles. In turn, this promises a tasty treat for birds like the red-legged crake that can be spotted darting between trees on the wet forest floor. Kingfishers can also be seen perched on trees scanning the area for prey. Such rich biodiversity is also a buffet meal for reptiles like the black marsh terrapin, which feeds on smaller amphibians and crustaceans in the swamp. The learning forest is accessible to the public, so if you are keen to learn more about this unique ecosystem, do pop by for a visit. Freshwater swamp forest ecosystems are sensitive to external disturbances and developments that can threaten the plant and animal species that are found there. This is why it is important to take good care of these habitats. We all can do our part by observing the proper etiquette when visiting our parks and gardens. When you visit, take nothing but photographs and leave nothing but footprints. And while looking out for the uniquely adapted trees here, do remember, keep your noise level down and stay on designated trails, as this can help you to spot some of the more sensitive wildlife here. The map box at the entrance of the learning forest will show you the trails to take and the do's and don'ts within the area. Thank you for coming along with us today. We hope you've had an enjoyable time learning about our freshwater swamp forests and we hope to see you again soon.